So, everyone knows about AI right now. I think it's very popular throughout YouTube. But um, for designers, I was curious, what skills would you need to actually redesign the, the logo? One tool that I am going to use is the one found from Object, and it's called Radial. It allows you to use the radial effect to create part of a logo and then you use the radial effect to make it around. So if you see here, I'm going to create a circle that touches the edge of the, the inner shape, which is over there. And it also touches the middle of that side of that middle shape. Um, if you don't understand, you'll understand soon. So I'll need that shape first. And then after I'm gonna need the circle and lines going through like that. So here's the shape that I'm talking about. I clicked on the shape tool and made and, and made the shape. And I'm colored, I'm coloring it blue now so that I can see it. I'm keeping everything outlined because this section is just planning. Um, as you can see, it's this circle is gonna touch that corner down there, and I have to make sure it's somewhat in the middle of that other line so this will then repeat throughout the logo so um, here's the first line I'm drawing so that it is straight I created two points that were directly parallel to that and then I used the the white arrow to stretch it and then now I'm duplicating it so that it touches the other side of the of the circle Earlier on, I did say that I'm going to show you on the logo how the lines are. So in this case, I'm clicking the pen tool and then showing you where they are. But this is very rough. Here is what I'm going to do next. I went to, to objects repeat and then I made sure that there's the circle, the shape that I created is only repeated six times because the logo requires it to be six times. Now I click on the main shape and then move the shape instead of using the, the toggles that we normally get. I'm using the shape to make sure that it's aligned accordingly. And I did zoom in so that you can see it properly. I'm sure now you can kind of see what I'm going to do next. Um, when you click Shift M, you are able to select only the parts that you want, but then the, the, the logo or the lines or the strokes that you want, you need to first um, change them into an object. But before that, never work in a destructive manner. Always duplicate what you have done so that if you make a mistake here, you can come back and fix it. So you're clicking objects and then expand and then uh click shift m there's also an arrow there where you can just choose what you need to choose so in this case i'm removing the center so that i kind of see the, the the line that i'm going to go for so here's my i would say my base shape fun fact if you click alt and the shift m you can remove things instead of add things but i'm noticing that there's an error there so let me try again hopefully now it's going to be cool i'm deciding to fix it later um next copy that out by ungrouping it and then i can delete the rest so here's my base shape using the white arrow i'm clicking at that point clicking that point also and then Control j to con con connect these and then using the um i forgot the name now to to make it curvy so that so that now i can go on to objects object um repeat and make sure that there's six shapes and using the shape tool again make sure that everything is aligned don't for, don't be afraid to zoom in it's very very helpful to do that um and there so far so good so we good but now if you notice here the stroke is thick so basically um now i need to implement this thickness around here and around here uh within the logo 
so um, going back to that remember do not do things destructively so I duplicate and then um, go on to um, edit first add a stroke and make sure that the, 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 the it's the smoothness is done I think I might have overdone it but also clicking on the stroke the word next to the number it allows you to see more options so now using the stroke white tool that's what i call it <laughs> i'm going to uh make the strokes quite big so like this i think is good enough but the fact that i need to do it um, without seeing any unit for me is slightly uncomfortable because I'd like to make sure that everything is about the same oh hectic oh oh oh! I just found out I just found out <laughs> so when you make that stroke bigger in that um, anchor point you can look at uh, the stroke amount on the on the on the units and then it can tell you what how much um the stroke is for that anchor point which is very interesting but in this case i'm happy with what i'm seeing um now i'm just going to uh expand it by first clicking on it and making sure that the the, the, the shapes and everything is done right but i would like to use this as another base so that i can make a more cleaner version so in this case i added a stroke within and now i'm drawing another one so that i've got less anchor points and the fact that i've got more control over the width of the of the shape and the inner shape um now what i'm doing is i'm making sure that it's aligned with my under with the shape which is under and making sure that my points are in the right place so that when i use this tool they create somewhat a circular shape making sure that it works tell me what you guys think with the direction so far and did you know everything uh, that i've spoken about right now yes i'm a bit nervous don't judge me this is my like third video but i'm good so now I'm making everything rounder and using the magical repeater make sure that it's six and make sure that you don't use those toggle thing you use the shape to make sure that you are precise don't be afraid to zoom in and making sure that everything is good so lastly because my inner shape is not rotated properly i'm creating a straight line and making sure that the the two ends touch it touch where they need to touch now i'm just changing the color to to black and adding thinking about adding the font um open ai um yeah normally i normally ex don't expand but then i am i did expand in this case and added navigation tool pathfinder so that everything is nicely connected then yes i think adding open ai is going to be very easy um just click on the t for the text tool and write your word open ai after adding open ai the font that you'll be looking for is a mono um, type font i did have um ibm in in mind but uh it shouldn't be too thick I, i'm seeing thick too much right now it shouldn't be too 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 thick because the logo on the other side is not too thick but yeah um this is what i have i managed to do it thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe don't forget to also watch my other videos if you would like to see how the coffee how how the coffee brand is made or some yeah some cool things thank you again 
for watching um, don't forget to do the right things Cheer. oh snap um quick one i forgot to say let's get started okay bye -bye.